morning all we are back out down at the garden center final test ride on this the titan for alan and dave so dave's is the red one this is alan's which is the black one oh look stickers are over there no more been added if you want to put a sticker on it come down to dobby's garden store where the EV charging station is and bang your sticker up there on the side we're trying to get all the motor vloggers to wax stickers on there I'm going to uh, do a little short of that on my TikTok and uh, get boys to uh, put a sticker up make a new sticker wall we've got them everywhere in Milton Keynes right, we are off final test ride, I've already got 10k on the bike I'm going to chuck a couple more k on it it's had two test rides and we know everything is all good last video went up this morning it is a tuesday morning it is about quarter to nine i have been in the garage this morning since around about half past six and lo and behold i've got my titan running that came in it has been to two other bike dealers or i think it was one or two other bike dealers anyway can't find anything wrong with it mate oh really okay uh, what's your symptoms well it runs great when it's cold and as soon as i back off the throttle when it's hot it cuts out and i have to give it loads and loads of throttle and it starts and then i can ride it but as soon as i back off the throttle again conks out and i have to start it and it's been doing it while i've been going at speed it just bleh, and dies oh have you lost any power a little bit of loss of power he's turning in i can go so I said to him, have you had your tappets done? Well, it's done, uh, I think, about 4,000k. No. Well, we recommend go and get tappets done. So he phones them up. Well, another garage has told me you need to do the tappets because I bought the bike from you. Uh, yeah, OK, mate. Well, you're going to get charged for a service. Why do I need a service? Well, to do the tappets, we've got to give it a service. We have to take the oil out of the engine and uh, change your oil. Absolute rot. So, absolute load of rot that. Tappets are on the top end of the bike. All you do, very, very simple, and it is a bane doing it because tappets on these are very finicky. But seat bucket out, and you pop off the front panel, gives you access to the head spark plug out on the side of the variator. So, if you've got a Titan, this is how to do your tappets, guys. Seat bucket out, just down between my legs is the uh, inspection panel take the full panel off or even the big black one that goes around there's about five screws that hold that pop out the front panel gives you access to the head or the rocker cover four bolts eight mil hold the rocker cover on <coughs> pop the spark plug out pop the spark cap out spark plug out on the side of your alternator as they call it or your regulator rectifier is a little round plug pop that round plug off and rotate the bike using the spanner on the side or the socket on the side to rotate that round what you want to do is on that wheel is a little T with a line you need to line the T just past that uh, marker on the casing and the line and the case the line and the marker on the casing will line up get a screwdriver just gently down the bores and just make sure you're at top dead center then you get into your tappets now the tappets on the top nine mil bolt and a little square bit on the top you can use needle nose pliers if you have to or you can use a tappet spanner i use a needle pair of needle nose pliers it's just as easy set of feeler gauges 0.5 to 0.8 on your inlets and 0.7 to 0.9 on the exhaust and people go why is the exhaust a lot more the exhaust is the thing that gets hot metal expands that will close the gap so you make a bigger gap on the exhaust so 0.5 to about 0.8 on the exhaust 7 to 9 uh, sorry 0.5 to 0.8 on the inlets 0.7 0.9 on the exhaust and uh, do it that way so very easy to do Use your feeler gauges, rotate the engine a couple of times, put it back to top dead centre and recheck that you have the correct gap on your tappets. 
but it's as easy as that. Head back on, panels back on, put, I say put the head back, uh, put the rocker cover back on, put the four bolts in, tighten it all up, start the bike, just check it all works before you go putting panels back on. Sometimes you have to adjust it two or three times. They are finicky and they are very, very close gaps on those. That is how to do your tappets and lo and behold, took it out this morning, the bike runs, it doesn't conk out. Tappets, that is what it is, your valve clearances. Should be getting them done by your local bike dealer on at least your second or third service. Now, tappets are not part of the service. Normally, it's normally extra time to get in to do those, so it would be probably a bit of extra time, probably about half an hour to do your tappets. But they are a pig to do. So that's how you do tappets, guys. But should be doing your tappet adjustment every second or third service. If the bike does run and it's doing those, got those issues, use a repair loop. We use fast fuel, air, spark, tappets. That will get you out of the stuck every time. So if you've got fuel, you've got air, you've got a spark, you know it's going to be tappets. If not, it's going to be something a little bit more hideous. But Test ride on the Titan done, 13k done, completed, we are done, that's the two bikes done, I'm going to now get them registered, I have got shed loads in today, I've got all them lot to do, we're shooting the FJR later, whatever you're doing, be well, ride safe, and from RB, it's a big goodbye from me.